Shalom, aqui é Ronaldo Jacob e galera, continuamos aqui com a série The Walking Dead. E ok, vamos lá, dar uma continuação no episódio 2, Famintos por Ajuda. E no último episódio, né, a gente acabou ali na fazenda, entrando na fazenda. E vamos ver o que acontece a partir de agora. Muito bem, continuar. St. John Family Day. Y'all can see how he kept this place so safe. The fence keeps him out? You betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. This is a really brilliant setup. Suits up just fine. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Thanks for having us. We brought some gasoline on good faith. We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybell will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she... We have a vet, but we could bring her here. But we can help you folks out. A vet? Oh, Ma! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come for the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. We can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously, they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see. And checking the fence perimeter sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right. I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. Ok, vamos lá então, né? Uh, vamos olhar aqui. Hi. Hi. Well, 
I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? Yeah, if you need some extra people to protect the dairy, you can count on us. Well, hopefully it'll never come to that, but thanks. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman, he figured out how to amp it up with a generator. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closer thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots. We gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. Like us? Bom, eu vou sair. Ok, well, we gotta secure the perimeter, so don't take too long. Eu vou dar uma pesquisada aqui para ver tudo que tá errado. Ui. Eu bet they go through a lot of wood keeping those fences with there. If a couple of tools out in the open is as unsafe as it gets, we'll be fine here. Would have been nice to have one of these back at the motor. É, isso é bom mesmo. O que tem aqui? Looks like the fence runs around the entire property, not just the house. Yep, can't take any chances when it comes to safety. É, parece tudo legal, tudo certinho, tudo bonitinho. Como se nada tivesse errado aqui. Tem alguma coisa estranha. Tá muito certinho. E quem joga, quem assiste The Walking Dead ou lê, sabe que tem nada certinho. Ok. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. Mind if I fix it? Sure, that'd be great. Mama sure does appreciate y'all helping out. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. É, será? Sei não, hein, meu. Ok, eu pego a serra e a madeira lá, né, e faço... Dar um vistazo, dar uma olhada, né? Fresh herbs. I can hardly wait for dinner. This dairy won a lot of ribbons in its day, huh? This place was my daddy's life. Meant everything to him. You know, when he first bought this place, it was a single story house. Is that right? After us kids was born, he insisted on adding a second floor. Said they had to have room for as many babies as they could have. <laughs> Mama, she was done after Dan. My folks stopped after two as well. Then one day, the world changed. Now this place is all we have left for Daddy. That's why we take such good care of it, and why we want to share it with good folks like yourself. Say. Estranho, né? Ok, vamos fazer a... o balancinho do balancê. Minha 
mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. Sí. Vamos lá fazer a o balancinho da Clementine e do Duck. Duck. The board is good, but I need some rope. Sim, eu devo arranjar corda. Tinha corda em algum lugar no chão? Ou eu tô ficando maluco? Tô bem doidão, calma aí. Deixa eu falar com ele aqui. So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? The fence is no joke, at least around the house. I'm looking forward to seeing the rest of it. I'll keep looking around. All right, keep me posted. Tudo bem. Mas que estranho, cara. É... Ele não quer consertar porque eu não acho uma corda, né? The board is good, but I need some rope. E aonde tá essas cordas? Vamos ver se o cara tem. Ó, oh, lá dentro. I do for you, sweetie. Can I help you with anything around the house? I think with Danny's help, I've got things pretty well squared away in the kitchen. But feel free to check with Andy. He's got a lot of weight on his shoulders these days, so I'm sure he'd love any help he can get. Your family's done an amazing job of keeping this place up. Well, now aren't you sweet? Thank you, Lee. The boys and I have tried to adapt as best we can, but we still keep some of our old routines to help remind us of better times. What happened to the rest of your staff? Oh, we've had our share of tragedy here, just like everyone else, I'm sure. Some of our staff took off to find their family as soon as they heard the news. The few that stuck around, well... We lost most of them the first night, so they ain't showed up yet. It was really a tough night. When will dinner be ready? It'll be a while still, but it'll be worth it. Trust me. How many rooms does this house have? Three? Why do you ask? I'm sorry, that was rude of me. Well, don't you worry about it, Lee. We've got a great big dining room that will fit your whole group. How's your family been holding up since, uh, you know? All my boys have been my saving grace. They both left their jobs and came home to help out after the attack started happening. I think it was hardest on Andy. Dan was always more of a mama's boy, but don't tell him I said that. <laughs> well, if anything comes up that I can help with, feel free to let me know. Well, Lee, I sure appreciate it. No problem. Chegando, toma cuidado, filhão. Bom, aqui não tem cordas, pelo jeito. Alguma coisa vai acontecer e eu vou conseguir essas cordas. Então, o que eu vou fazer? O que é isso? Generator. You guys come along with gas just in time. Hey, uh, don't mess with that, okay? The thing's a little tricky, and I don't want to spend half a day trying to fix it again. Então vamos lá. Hi. Uh... 
how can I can help you with that perimeter now? Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it gets overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. Muito bem. E agora? Estamos aí dando um rolezinho na fazenda. It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Blair. What's up with you telling him what I said about him thinking I'm dangerous? Look, you said it. You even admitted it right to him. I try to be civil at least. He's too busy being cranky to notice. <laughs> There's one. Ugh. Torradinho. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Ah, uh, primeiro tiro isso. Disgusting. E depois a gente dá uma empurradinha. Sure, there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? The fortress needs people to defend it. We've got enough people. So, what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. That's all. Thanks. There's another one. I see it. É, tá curioso. Bastante curioso. A mão grudou. Never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Cheiro de podre, né? Christ. Can't stop thinking about dinner. Thanks for the rations earlier. It's not easy eating in front of the kids, but it's all that's keeping me on my feet right now. We'll go ask for more to eat after this is done. All right. I can suck it up. <laughs> Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <coughs> Boy, there. Good idea. Okay. Uh, help this... you, Lee? If you're waiting for that guy to help, it ain't gonna happen. Come on. I'm going to help Não fique triste, garoto. Come on, Lee. We don't have all day. Vamos deixar ele irritadinho. Vai. Antes que você comece a chorar. Que é um chorão, né? Não pode esquecer que o cara é um chorão. Vai, 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 vai. Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Eita. Get to the gate. Get down. Vamos lá, vamos lá, vamos lá. We got the ring. Now you Who the fuck is that? No idea. Fuck. Now what? With the fence on that gate is our only way out. Shit. Então vamos. Bom, vamos lá, vamos empurrar o, o trator. 
Eu não ia, vai não? Ai. Ah, tem um... Vamos ver se eu consigo tirar. Quase! Bom, vamos lá, empurrando. Bom, devagarinho a gente consegue chegar lá. Meu, vai ter muita gente atacando, olha. What happened? Shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. Gonna have to lose it. Oh, meu pai. Vai. Bom, pelo menos eles estão mortos, né? Eles podiam atrapalhar com a sua mortice. Outro. Uma bem com uns 30 pelo menos. Ai meu Deus, meu Deus! Toma! 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 Vai, 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 vai. Arc e flecha, é o cara enchendo o saco. Sai, 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 sai pra lá. Vamos. Vai, vamos. Vamos dar fora daqui que tá embaçado esse negócio, meu. Que armadilha, meu. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? If this place isn't safe, we can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us in our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Oh, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? 
Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in his group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. I hope you kids like swings. Oh, swings! I love swings! Just like at my treehouse! Come on, Doc! Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah! Thanks. Anytime. We're looking out for you. Oh, legal, consertaram. Deixa eu conversar com a Clementine. Hey, Clem, do you like the swings? Yeah, it's fun. Be sure to tell Andy thank you, okay? I will. Will you push me on it? Claro. Happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. How are you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? He got lucky out there. Could have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Then we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? I don't think so. Oh, me? Yeah. I miss my family. I know, Clint. I miss mine, too. Don't worry. We're safe here now. As long as the bad people don't get me, too, right? I won't let what happened to Mark happen to you. Promise? I promise. All right, Clint. That's enough for now. Okay. Thanks for pushing me. Of course. It's all yours. Yeah! Okay, <laughs> Duck. Don't pop a gasket. Muito bom. You can definitely tell they built this thing themselves. Uh. That thing keeps a fence electrified. Vamos entrar aqui. Eu vou. O que, que é isso aqui? Looks like a feeding station for the cow. Ok, eles alimentam a vaca. Lee, oh my god, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? He'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. I don't know. If we'd just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. I take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything, but gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid if you ask me. Lee, I know you and Kenny are friends, but you recognize that he's not the right person to lead this group, don't you? I don't know, Lily. Both you and Kenny have been very important in keeping the group together. Yeah, well, if I don't keep us alive, there won't be a group to keep together. Hey. Hey, uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? Okay. 
it's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. How do you put up with him? Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes. I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just... He's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much. And lost... Pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. And don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. And I love him. Legal, I don't know. Think our little arrangement with them was a good idea? A little late to be asking that now, don't you think? Dad's right. Let's just wait for dinner. And then if Mark is feeling up to it, we leave. I don't want to push our luck here. Now, now, let's not be hasty. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Yeah, and we don't need you poking your nose where it don't belong and getting us thrown out in our asses. Muito bem. Melhorar. Having a crop like that on hand must be great. We're gonna need to learn how to maintain it if we end up staying here. Bom. Lots of hay. The milk of these might work as adequate cover for marrows if that becomes a problem. Vamos entrar aqui, ver o que tem aí dentro, né? If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in ships. Ah, ele vai repetir. Eu achei que dava para entrar. Muito bem, vamos sair daqui. Eu vou conversar com os dois ali em cima. E a gente vê o que que dá, né? Fellas, how you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? Two of us should go out and do some recon, then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. We think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Vamos. Yeah. It'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Are you going now? Yeah, I'll be back soon, Clementine. Please be lucky. I will. Okay. Ai, que bonitinha. Yet. I know it's around here. It's gotta be close. <risos> Acharam uma latinha vazia, quer dizer, deve ter alguém aí perto, né? A gente vai descobrir que mistério está rondando este lugar. Um acampamento. Ó, 
Ok, galera, se vocês querem saber o que vai acontecer aqui no acampamento, assista o próximo episódio de The Walking Dead. Se gostaram do vídeo, coloque em gostei. Se não estão inscritos no canal, se inscreva. O jogo está ficando super misterioso. Deixe seu comentário a respeito do vídeo, né? O que vocês acharam do vídeo. E, galera, fiquem com Deus. Que Deus abençoe cada um de vocês. Valeu, falou e... Shalom.